All right, we're gonna grab some pipe. We're gonna do some underground downspouts. I wanna do a review on pipe. We'll see what measures up. We're at a big box store. And we're just gonna grab whatever they got on the shelf, take it back to the lab. We're gonna make a decision. It's gonna be of common sense. Let's see how this goes. All right, here we have some perforated pipe. Here's some saw cut. Got some four inch, let me see. Oh, geez. Wow. Wow, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. That is concerning. Interesting. It says heavy duty on it. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. Okay. All right. Interesting. Everybody's heavy duty is uh, is different. Yeah, well, okay, so what are you going to do? We need some pipe. Let's grab a roll. Let's take it back and let's put it to, let's put it to the test. Check this out. Look at this. So this here is a perforated pipe. It's garbage. It's beyond garbage. This stuff's made in China. And you can see what garbage it is. You know, you can see right here, you see these white lines? These white lines are stress cracks. This cracks real easy. So, you know, people come in and they're like, oh, the price is fantastic. Let's look at this price. Let's, let's take this, let's take this home and let's put it in the ground. And it's gonna last for a minute. Or you can come over here and you can grab some of this Heavy duty. Let's try it out. All right, we're back at the lab, AKA French Drain Man headquarters. I have a heavy duty Home Depot pipe. Heavy duty. Yeah, they want to change things up. They want to better themselves. So they went with a heavy duty pipe. So this is a recycled pipe. I want to talk about this pipe. When you use a recycled pipe, animals love to chew on it, and it's really soft. That's why we use a virgin material, all virgin. So what I did is I took this recycled heavy-duty pipe, and I put some end caps in it. These are end plugs. They make it really strong. The weakest point of any pipe is the end. I want this to be a fair comparison, because you're never going to leave the end open. You're going to have a fitting on there, hopefully. You're not going to stick fabric in the end. You're not going to put fabric around it and rubber band it because we make these end caps. These end plugs, they're easy to go in. These are virgin material. Animals do not chew on them. Animals do not like virgin material. So heavy duty. Now, we don't have any 4-inch heavy duty in our yard anymore. No longer do we carry anything that's heavy duty. In 4-inch, we used to carry a heavy-duty. We got away from it. We got away from all the heavy-duty pipes. Now, we have an extra heavy-duty, and we have an extreme-duty. And they are marked. Both the extra heavy and the extreme-duty are marked extra HD. French Drain Man High-Octane Armor. Beautiful pipe, beautiful pipe. So... The other thing I want to talk about when you're doing like a crush test of pipe, you can't have pipe out in the sun. Let's be fair, HDPE gets very soft out in the sun. 
It's easier to work with when you have it out in the sun. So this is a nice fall evening. Sun went down hours ago. It's about 40 degrees in Michigan right now. So let me show you. You know, let's take a look. Obviously, we got our extreme duty. I can step on it. I can put all my weight on one foot. I'm probably, I hate to admit it, but I'm like 220 dressed. That's where it's at. All right, so doesn't matter what I do to this pipe. I can't crush it. It's not going to happen. Here's the heavy duty. We'll do the... All right, let's give it the full 220. And that pipe is perfectly round. Both our extra heavy duty and our extreme duty stand up to that very test, which is really important because when you're installing pipe, you want to be able to walk on it when you're in the trench. You have to, you have a narrow trench. So now this is the heavy duty. Let's just put one leg on it. Okay, it really, really compressed. It is now permanently, permanently oblong. All right, I've waited an hour. It's still deflected. I was curious to see if it would come back. Now I'm just going to put my whole 220 on it. And then just push down on it. Literally just push down on it. My feet never left the pipe. All right, I'm going to do the same thing to the French drain man. Extra heavy here. Same exact thing. We put both feet on it and push. I can't, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. That is our extra heavy duty. Well, in fear of falling and breaking my neck, I'm going to leave it right there. And this is our extreme duty, guys. This is, this is like so stupid. That is so ridiculous how strong that pipe is. All right. So here we are. That's what we got. All right. So let me tell you about these three pipes. You know, the one is a heavy duty recycled. It's really not my brand of heavy duty. And uh, you can see why. So animals like to chew on it because it's recycled material. It's soft and, and they like that. And there's something about the recycled material. Maybe it's all the uh, restaurant containers and food containers that get recycled. I don't know. I don't know. But animals just love chewing on this pipe. All right. So this is, you know, French Dream Man's extra heavy duty. I'm going to tell you about the qualities of our two pipes. So when you're buying pipe, you can make a good decision for yourself. So... Our extreme duty pipe starts to deflect when there's 70 pounds per square inch applied to it. It'll deflect. That's our extreme duty. Now our extra heavy duty, it'll start to deflect when there's 50 pounds per square inch. But I will say something about this pipe. Now, this pipe is a different recipe, and I've never talked about it. First time I'm talking about it. So here's our extra heavy duty. This is not our extreme duty. This is straight up extra heavy duty. This is our extreme duty. What I like about our extra heavy duty, it's a different recipe of HDPE. When you do reach the point of deflection, this will return. It will come back. It has the best return on deflection of any pipe on the market. And our three and a half inch pipe is modeled after this four inch pipe, guys. This extreme duty does take a lot more to compress. But unlike this pipe where it'll come back 99% off of a deflection, when you do take this pipe to the point of deflection, when you finally get it to the point of deflection, it's not going to return for you 99%. It's just not. They're two different materials. They're made for two different cases. This here, extreme duty. It's going to handle 
light traffic, you know, cars, light trucks, things like that. Now, if you pack it in stone, now you can drive one ton vehicles over it. Same with this pipe here. I had to bring this pipe in because it's such a big deal in the pipe world when you start talking about deflection and return on, you know, deflection. So that's why this pipe here has a place in my heart. It returns on deflection no matter what. When you drive over soft, spongy ground and the ground gets compressed, this pipe, if it happens to be underground, it will return off of that deflection. So it's very unique properties. Very unique properties, guys. So there's our two pipes. 70 pounds per square inch before it'll deflect, our extreme duty. Our extra heavy duty, 50 pounds per square inch before it deflects. And it has an incredible return rate. As far as weight goes, the extreme duty is just a little heavier. It's not far off. Our extra heavy duty is not far off from it. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Kind of reminds me of the things I used to do years ago. You know, I'm going to show you a picture of our dumpster. And um, what this pipe that I call job security looks like after a couple years. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions about yard drainage, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.